Alright guys, welcome back to Aspire the Simple Life, Janelle's Life Vlog. Hey, guess what? We're going to plant some boxwoods. And in Colorado, boxwoods don't do very well. They probably don't do very well in other states too. Um, you do have to spray them off with a special type of um, antifungal that is really good for boxwood blight. Um, so what we're going to do is, this is the best time to do it, it's April. You can do it in February too, and they will survive Colorado storms because it is for negative four um, all the way up. So let's start with that and see if we can get some boxwoods to grow this year. I have decided that my other boxwoods are wonderful and I did a treatment last year. We'll do another treatment this year on everything and you're going to have to do this on everywhere. This is the best way that I know how. I am not a gardener, but I know a lot of master gardeners. And I've grown up here gardening a lot in Colorado. Does that give me the right to brag? No, it does not. But sometimes I don't know everything either. So let's get this started. I am going to change my mind on where I'm going to put these boxwoods. I was putting them all the way up next to the very beginning of where the drywall cement goes. So we don't have any sidewalks in this area. So what we're going to do is bring it in actually a couple feet. And the reason being is because I think that that will make it a lot better to actually bush out more. And they do get pretty um, bushed out. So we are gonna start here. You don't need a very big hole either. where I get the other ones. We'll see how far we can go with them, but hopefully I can keep up with everything. Right here. Okay guys, so I'm heading towards these planters right here. Those are where my peonies are all put. They're all put. Unfortunately, they need to be removed and also they need to have all of the peonies like just transplanted. Right now is probably not the greatest time to do that because 
there's always still a chance that we are going to still be getting some snow but at least um it they are already starting to come up which is a good sign so in some cases the flowers still need some sort of snow or cold or something to start them to get um into that like bloom kind of mode so that's what the whole purpose of the weather going back and forth and all that stuff is so in this case uh i am transplanting them we're gonna see if they take if they don't take then i guess hopefully the boxwoods take this time um i have pretty much done the boxwoods several times in this area and they have all died but because of the boxwood blight and stuff i finally figured out what was wrong with it and so that's what's going on with this whole transplanting thing and they're also my way and i want a pretty boxwood hedge to go all along there so i am going to be spraying this area multiple times um, throughout the summer so that i can get it to actual grow and yes they are new blooms and yes are new trees or plants or bushes or whatever the heck they are and i am going to work with that and I'm still gonna spray them because I'm really cautious about them getting the box of blights like the other plants do. That way I can make sure that they don't get that and die like the other ones have.